Intrinsic value is the price a rational investor would pay for an investment given its level of risk. That's essentially the net present value of all future cash flows. And unlike other valuation methods, intrinsic value looks only at the business on its own and does not look at it on a relative basis compared to other companies. Let's check out an example of intrinsic value. Here is a discounted cash flow model that calculates the net present value of all future cash flows. So the model starts with a cash flow forecast schedule that's highlighted here. Below that, using the NPV function in Excel, we calculate the intrinsic value of the business and even on a per share basis, which for this company is $35.60. We can then compare that intrinsic value of $35 to the market value on the right of that, which is $25. So this company looks cheap in the market relative to its intrinsic value. Let's look at the formula for calculating net present value. Here is the formula where each cash flow is discounted by one plus the discount rate. The variables in this equation are FV, which is the future cash flow value in the period, I, which is the discount rate or interest rate, and N, which is the number of periods. We will calculate an example later, but first let's look at how risk adjusting the intrinsic value works. There are two methods. One is with a discount rate, which represents the opportunity cost of capital or a risk measure for the riskiness of those cash flows. The more volatile an investment is, the riskier it is, and therefore the higher the discount rate is. Another method to use is a certainty factor, where an investor assigns a probability of receiving the cash flow in each period to risk adjust it. So let's look at how we calculate this in Excel using the two approaches. Let's use the discount rate approach and the NPV function where we have 10 periods of cash flow, each that pay $10,000. Using the NPV function in Excel, a discount rate of 10%, and those cash flows, we get a net present value of 61446 This is the amount a rational investor would be willing to pay, assuming that all assumptions are correct. Now let's look at using a certainty factor. This time, we just use a discount rate of 2.5%, which is the risk-free rate of return on a government bond. We then take each cash flow, multiply it by our certainty factor, and that factor may be different in each year. For this simple example, we've used the same factor in each year, but you may have higher certainty about the earlier cash flows and less certainty about the later cash flows. Then using the NPV function and the discount rate of 2.5%, you can see that we get the same intrinsic value using this approach. In summary, the intrinsic value is the value of a business viewed only on its own and not relative to any other investment. It takes all future cash flows and discounts them back to today to determine how much a rational investor would be willing to pay for that investment. Thank you for joining us for this quick tutorial on intrinsic value.